what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co and in today's video we're going to talk about how to calculate these burn times y'all You all know the deal. I have my laptop here, my talking points, so let's just get right into it. As a candle maker, it is imperative for you to know and understand the burn time of your products. It's not only important for you to know, but it's also important for you to pass that information along to your customers because what customer doesn't like a long lasting candle? So it could also be a great tool for marketing your products to customers who kind of look for that high quality candle and that long lasting burn time. So let's get right into it. We are going to talk about candle burning calculations. First thing you wanna do is get your initial weight. So you wanna take your finished candle with an accurate scale and go ahead and weigh to get that initial weight. Now, I personally like to use grams. It's just an easier measurement for me. Um, however, ounces or grams, either one works. There's no right or wrong. Um, so if you're an ounces person, go ahead and take down your initial weight in ounces. And if you're a grams person like myself, go ahead and take down your initial weight in grams. Second thing you want to do is go ahead and conduct your, conduct your actual burn test. Now you want to go ahead and start with a fresh candle, um, the one that you weighed in the previous uh, step. And you want to go ahead and allow your candle to burn for at least three to four hours, preferably four hours. And this will help you determine how much candle wax has burned off during this time. This part of the calculation is um, the duration of the burn test. So you're trying to get an estimated calculation on how much wax has burned off during this three to four hour time period. Now for step three, you want to do another weigh in. So you want to go ahead and grab your scale again. And once your wax has cooled, you want to go ahead and weigh the candle at this point. This is considered your final weight. So now we're gonna get into some candle math. Just a little bit of math here. Um, so what we're trying to calculate is how much wax was consumed during this four hour test burn. So what you wanna do is subtract your final weight from your initial weight to get the amount of wax that was consumed during this four hour time period. So for example, if you started off with an initial weight of say 16 ounces, and then after you have burned for three to four hours and you do your second weigh in, which is considered your final weight, and now you're at 15 ounces, then the amount of wax that was consumed was one ounce during this time period. So now you want to divide the amount of hours that you conducted your burn test by the amount of wax that was consumed. So using the numbers in our previous example, if we burned our candle for four hours for our test and it and one ounce of wax was consumed during this time period, you want to take four divided by one, which gives you um, four again. So that tells you that every four hours, you're going to burn off at least one ounce of wax. So now you want to multiply the total hours burned per ounce by the starting weight of your candle. So using the numbers that we've been using in our example, you want to take four, which was the four hours it takes to burn per ounce times 16, which was our starting weight. And that gives you 64 ounces. So now you know that it takes approximately, not 64 ounces, I'm sorry, 64 hours. <laughs> so now you know it takes 64 hours approximately to burn through your entire candle. And I am going to insert a quick calculation formula clip here in just a second. So that is pretty much how you can do your burn test and you can do this um, and do as many burn tests as you need. Um, but this can kind of give you an, an, an overview, an approximate um, about how uh, long it takes for you to burn through your, your candle. So now I kind of want to talk about some variables when it comes to candle making and conducting these burn tests because Every burn test is not the same for everybody. 
and there's a lot of variables that go into um, conducting your burn test and I made a list here that I thought would be helpful and just for you to plug away in your brain because one thing that we can get caught up on as candle makers is what happens for this candle maker is going to happen the same for me um, as as a candle maker and there's a lot of um, variables that can uh, cause um, this candle maker and this candle maker to differ in the type of formula and numbers that they use so things such as candle size um, the type of wax used, the amount and the type of additives used so anything that you may add to your candle even if something is dye you know many of us like to color our candles that can actually have a little impact on your burn time, um, the length of the wick, and the use of, not the use, but the type of jar shape that you use. So if I use a straight sided jar, this candle maker uses uh, more of a, um, a hexagon shaped jar. Um, I've seen those. So that may can impact um, your the amount of burn time as well there's other factors such as you know your environment your atmosphere how cool or hot it is in the room that they're cooling in um, so that can also have an effect on your burn time as well so i just like to throw that out there because i had to learn that when i was trying to figure out my burn test and calculating my burn times and how come my numbers didn't come out the way her numbers did things can vary even if something is the scale you know what I mean? We all use different scales and scales are as accurate as they come, right? <laughs> so, you know, you want to start with, you know, a good scale um, that is good working, that can give you the best accurate uh, numbers as possible. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am going to include in the description box below um, the little step-by-step candle mat that I was um, running through in today's video. I will put that in, in the description box for your reference. And if you have any other candle video ideas, just let me know and, know, and I will do my best to honor it. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to like it and don't forget to su subscribe. And until next time, bye everybody.